P13's Brandy Cruz has a look at how campaigns are adapting to our new normal. A lot of the traditional ways to meet voters are off limits right now, like holding rallies or going door to door. Caleb Heimlich, the chair of the Washington State Republican Party, says he believes that actually favors incumbents because they're already a known commodity. The situation we're in that kind of precludes doorbelling, makes it a little bit more difficult to fundraise, makes it more difficult to get your message out, certainly favors incumbents. And so whether that's Governor Inslee or uh, incumbents in the legislature, I think if you already have a known name, um, that when we're in a situation like this where it's difficult for people to get, get around, difficult for people to gather, um, or inadvisable for them to gather, then it's hard getting your message out. But whether candidates are new to the political arena or are running for re-election, they still need to get creative about reaching voters. Will Casey with the Washington State Democratic Party says they're trying to give the best guidance they can to candidates about how to campaign during the coronavirus crisis. All of our campaign tactics have to accommodate the fact that we can't do any sort of in-person organizing or events, right? Um, and so at the Washington Democrats, uh, we have moved to an entirely uh, digital uh, organizing strategy. So we're holding remote phone banks. We're doing that weekly or nightly from Sunday through Thursday. We're launching a text banking tool. Eventually, we're going to have an auto dialer system so people can just be constantly communicating with voters from the comfort of their home. Another change that the coronavirus crisis could bring to elections is a greater shift over to vote by mail systems like we have here in Washington state. While there might be some political and financial barriers to states implementing those systems in time for the November election, it is clear that moving forward, states that don't have vote by mail systems need to be better about coming up with a backup plan in case they have something like a global pandemic that prevents voters from physically going to the polls.